Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Citizens Bank Park and welcome to Phillies Baseball. And this afternoon, the uh, Phillies will take on the St. Louis Cardinals. Both teams with 37 and 33 records. Phillies and the St. Louis Cardinals. Brandon G is here with you for another episode of Phillies Baseball here on the Video Game Network. There's the Phillies. Take the field, hoping it will be a sweep here today. They haven't had a sweep in a while, looking to win their fourth straight before they head out to Yankee State. And here's the series recap. Baby Paul was a hero for the Phillies with three RBIs. And Mikel Franco had a home run in yesterday's game. Ben Revere won it with an RBI double in 10 innings. This is the Cardinals lineup with John Jay, Peter Bowles, Matt Carpenter. Mark Wells, Perosa, Colton Wong, third check, Tony Cruz. And Cole Hamels looking to have a good start here today. It's the Phillies on a winning track, hoping to win their fifth straight. John Jay will lead it off for the Cardinals. And the first pitch of the game, it's outside for a ball. One ball and no strike. Dead over, one and one. 87 degrees here at first pitch. One ball and two balls and one strike. strikes fly ball right field pretty well hit this ball is gonna bounce off the wall Jay's gonna round second and go to third he's oh, safe with a sliding triple. So John Jay leads off the game with a triple. Peter Borges. And I'll bring up Peter Borges. Oh, the Arnold had no chance to get it. It bounced off the top of the wall. And this was a close play at third. But John Jay beats it out. A triple for Jay, Borges bats for the Cardinals and he hammers this one to right field. This will get the run home. Jay will score and the Cardinals did it one to nothing. Here in the first inning for the sacrifice by Borges. As Jay comes in to score. Here's Matt Carpenter. Carpenter batting at 307. And you see the rest of the Cardinal lineup here. Well, you see Reynolds, Peralta, Wong, Gertrude Cruz, and Wainwright.
In center field, that's a base hit. Pass of pass Franco. And Carpenter on with a single. Batting fourth, the first baseman, number 12, Mark Reynolds. And I'll bring up Mark Reynolds. Very hot, so the ball is going to travel today. One oh. ball and no strikes to Reynolds. Batting at 231, he does have seven home runs. He's gonna steal, I'm telling you. Cardinals limited offensively in this series. Hit foul. They did, they did score three runs in the ninth inning of the first game. But that game was well out of reach at that point. The Cardinals had a threat going. But Pat Bobad closed it out. No, that's Two outside. balls and Ball. one strike. Back through the middle, another hit. Reynolds this time has a hit. So Carpenter at second, Reynolds at first. Johnny Peralta. It'll bring up Johnny Peralta. A short stop. Oh, that's a tough one. Hamels tags out for Rocha. Probably going to move up to third one at second base. Goes with that with that one. Here's Colton Wong. Bad at 198. And ball and no strike. It fouled too long. One ball and one strike now. Big hat. Long strikes out. That'll retire this time for the Cardinals. They do get a run in the inning, but they hit, got three hits. They leave two. We go to the bottom of the first. Cardinals one. Phillies coming to bat. Ryan Sandberg's lineup. We'll have Ben Rivera, Utley, Denard, Howard, Beltre, Perez, Franco, Paul, and then the pitcher, Cole Hamill. Lineup will face Wayne Wright. He's 8-2 with a 2.52 ERA in 14 games, 96 innings, 20 walks, 72 strikeouts. So the Phillies will have their work cut out for them today against Adam Wainwright. And Ben Rivera will bat. He got the game winning hit in yesterday's ball game against the Cardinals, an RBI double that scored Dominic Brown. Rivera batting at 278. Rivera bunts it. It's a good one. And Rivera beats that one out. It's an infield single. Second, second baseman, 
Chase Utley. A nice bunt by Ben Rivera. Bunt it down a third base line. And what great speed Rivera has to cut that no chance of getting him. Here's Chase Utley batting at 301. Strike to Utley. Nope. Well, a one strike. One and one. Two and one to count. Foul. Two balls and two strikes. Full count now to Utley. Chase the Arnold waits on deck for the Phillies. Strikes out, one down here in the first. High fastball is Chase the Arnold. Has not had a hit this season. He came up because Brady Jordan was injured. The Arnold takes a strike, 0-1. up there one ball and one strike you have figured the Arnold will go back to the minor leagues once Jordan gets back from injury he is scheduled to be out three to four weeks skied in the shallow center field Perota will make the catch two outs here in the second inning and excuse me the first Got a little bit out in front of that one. Just pop it up in the shallow center. Here's Ryan Howard. Runner goes as we bear. He still second. But there's always a threat to steal. He steals that one. And he is in scoring position with two outs. One strike. You see Rivera's 16 stolen bases this season. That's the ball. Two and one. On the outside corner, two balls and two strikes. Howard strikes out. Wayne Wright has two strikeouts. One nothing, St. Louis. Is Randall Gritchick batting at 198? The right fielder, number 15, Randall Gritchick. 
Richard with three home runs and 11 RBI. The ball, ball and no strikes. One out. Ball. Side two and nothing. Martin pitched well last night, uh, well yesterday afternoon, going seven innings. Bullpen did a nice job as well. And the Phillies needed that from their bullpen. They had the highest team ERA in the National League. Here's a ground ball, Hamels picks it up, goes over to Howard for the out. There's one down here in the second inning. Ran to the ball. Nice spin throw. That is a ground ball to third. And Howard makes the catch for the out. The Blues is retired. Is that a Wayne Wright? Wainwright oh, takes the oh. ball, one ball and no strikes. Go back one. one and one to count. No, that's out. Two balls and one strike to Wainwright. On the Franco, spin turns and throws out Wainwright. That'll retire the Cardinals. They go in order. We go to the bottom of the second. One nothing Cardinals. Here's Adrian Beltre. He had the, the day off yesterday. He's batting at 260 with five home runs. On ball and no strikes. Trey fouls it, one and one. Yeah. That over is one and two. That's on the inside part of the plate. Bounced up there, two balls and two strikes. I'm not sure where that pitch was, but in any event, Beltre is called out on strikes and he is not happy about it. Has some words for the umpire. Ooh, wow. And they called that a strike. There's Salvador Perez. That's Wayne Wright's third strikeout. One ball and no strikes. Perez betting at 245. He does have 45 RBIs this season. Two and nothing. Oh. 
Perez, a little tough play. Wainwright gets it, fires over the first for the out. Perez is thrown out. Nice play by Wainwright to hustle to the ball. Perez is not a fast runner. Now bring up Mikel Franco. Franco homered in yesterday's ball game to tie it up in the eighth. And he fouls this one off. There's no balls in one strike. One and one to Franco. So Two and it. one. Two and one's the count. Come on, Phil. Xavier Paul waits on deck. Oh, he walks Franco. So they'll go after Xavier Paul. Paul is batting at 303, and this series is two for eight. That three run home run in game one. And Paul fouls it off in one strike. One ball, one, one, ball strike. And one strike. Two. A little bit inside, two balls and two strikes. Paul hits it off the end of the bat, but a goal to second for the out. And that'll retire the Phillies here in the second inning. They leave one to go to the third, one nothing St. Louis. John Jay will lead off here in the third inning. He tripled and scored his first time up. John Jay. Jay fouls it. Ground ball to Utley. And he'll throw over to Howard for the out. There's one down there in the third. Peter Borjo will bet. No strikes. One ball, no strikes. Knocked in the run. His first time up. We're gonna miss. Two and oh. Two and oh. Center field was there coming on. And he'll make the catch. There's two outs here in the third inning. Third uh, bring up Matt Carpenter, who was one for one. He singled his first time yeah. up. Ball 
balls and one strike. Both pitchers pitching well here. Hamill's got some trouble in the first, but it battled out of that. One ball All right, strike. inside, one ball with two strikes. Fly ball right field. DeArnold there, and he'll put it away. Cardinals go in order. We go to the bottom of the third. Hamels leads it off and we come back. Hamels will lead off the bottom of the third. He's batting at 059. Ball and no strikes. Two strikes. Here we go. That's four strikeouts for Wainwright. Wainwright is tied for third. The National League right. wins. Henderson out of Alvarez and Madison Bumgarner. Both have nine. It's Ben Revere who had a bunt single here in the first inning. That's the Phillies' only hit. And Revere's going to try to bunt it again. And this time he is thrown out. Nice play by Carpenter to get to the ball quickly. And throw out Revere. He defended like he was going to swing, and Carpenter made a fair handed play. Going out, Ben Revere. Two down here in the third. It'll bring up Chase Utley. Utley takes a strike. 0 and 1. 0 1. Fair ball down our first base side. Utley has a base hit. He is a two-out base runner. It'll bring up Travis. It'll bring up Chase the Arnold. Oh yeah. Now batting right fielder Chase Arnold. Arnold over one. He popped out. Strike. Ball on one strike. First pitch coming. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Darno is under it to put it away, and it's a quick one pitch out to begin the fourth. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And as we'd expect, not a huge differential here. In fact, no differential at all, with both guys clocking in at 92 as their top fastball. So the bases are empty with one man gone. 
And that'll bring up the shortstop, Johnny Peralta. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. And this is bounced foul near the secret weapon, Jose Akendo, in the third base coaching box. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And now a pitch on the way. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. And I'll tell you, being in a two-strike hole is not the spot you want to be in against a guy like this. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Yeah, a nice job behind the plate. He wants it low, so he's got a good idea that this ball might be in the dirt, so he's able to smother it and then make the strong throw to first. Colton Wong will stand in. As he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. Now here's the pitch. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner, and he can't believe it. I don't blame him, but the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. But they're on top, one to nothing. Adrian Beltre will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch coming from Wainwright. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Philadelphia. 1-0 pitch now. Look out. 2-0 now. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Beltre sitting on the 2-0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. oh, I think he'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Yeehaw. That one's in there. Three and one. Here he comes. Three one. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Well, let's slow this one way down and, and give you a look and show motion. He knows right from the start he's going to have to go barehanded if he's going to have any chance. That's a beautiful pickup there. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Now the 1-0. Oh. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Now batting, shortstop. Michael Franco will stand in. He threw base on balls his first time. Now the first pitch. Here we go. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. A scoreless half inning there from Adam Wainwright. Still working on a 1-0 lead. Rendell Gritchick. We'll step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've right been stuck in. 
Yeah, and after that first Richard. inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. Let's go. First pitch on the way. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. There's his total now, just into his fifth inning of work. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Well, the pitch counts the least of his worries. If his guys don't get him any runs, I don't think it'll matter all that much. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's the 1-1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Here comes the 2-1. Fouled straight back. The 2-2 coming. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. Into the box, Tony Cruz. As he swings and hits this one, foul off to the right and out of play. Pitch on the way. And that misses one and one. He wanted to go after that one, but... That's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. Come on, Billy. Hamill's ready with the 1-1. One -one. Swing and a line drive. Foul. The one and two with one away. And this is going to be a foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. May get four strikeouts in a row as this is swung on and missed for the second out. And remember now, he finished off the previous inning with back-to-back -back strikeouts. And now he started this inning with two more. So he's really got it working out there now. Stepping in now, Adam Wainwright. As he'll go after the first pitch and send a ground ball down to third. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Cardinals. They lead it one to nothing. Xavier Paul will lead it off here for the Phillies, and if he can get on, they'll have Cole Hamels on deck to perhaps try to sacrifice him along. Now here's the first pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. The pitch. Her ball close, but it's one and one. Wainwright ready, the 1-1. And they'll try to keep crowding him in, but this pitch misses as well. It's 2-1 now. Now the 2-1 pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Chopper, foul. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. now you can bet they'd love a ball four here. Well, that would let this guy have a shot to bunt him over. Full count pitch on its way. Here we go. 
Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. The next 3-2. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded 3-2. The next 3-2. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Paul Hamels will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch swinging as this one's hit on the ground to second. Throw gets him, two down. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there. And I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Ben Revere will dig in now. One for two to this point. Here's the first offering. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And you would think that this heat would start affecting him sooner or later, but it hasn't so far. If anything, he's getting stronger as the day goes on. And the pitch. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. Here's the pitch. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail this one, one to nothing. John Jay will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Center fielder, John Jay. And here's the first pitch. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Well, for that man right there, only the one run allowed. How discouraging is that when you're pitching your heart out and you're just not getting the support? Well, the good pitchers really don't let it get to them. They know that it cuts both ways. Sometimes you give up five runs and your guys score you eight. You just have to focus on holding up your end of the bargain. Now the 1-1. One, one. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's 1-2 and two now. Here's the 1-2. Now he turns on a fastball here and sends it to deep right field. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. Peter Borges will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First pitch coming. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. You can't try to outthink him up there. Just get a good pitch and square it up. Now here's the pitch. That's over, oh. but low, it's a ball and a strike. Oh, you are killing me. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he'll come back with two, one in one. the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. Oh, and too many good hitters count. This is where you need to pounce. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Now the three and two pitch. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and they're two down. Well, these guys knew coming in that this was going to be a tough assignment, and it's been all that and more. This guy, he's as good as advertising. He's had his way with a pretty good lineup here.
Here's Matt Carpenter. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? They continue to stack up. 17 in a row set down now as the side is retired again. Back alongside Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, and Chase Utley getting set to start things out here in the Phillies half of the inning. Here's the first offering. Back on the hill is Wayne right now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man, nothing and one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Come on, Philadelphia. And now pitch on the way. Down and away, ball. ball one. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss one, on the sinker, and it's one and two. Oh, and he's sure got a good one, doesn't he? That ball goes from about knee-high to ankle-high in the matter of about five feet. The one-two from Wainwright. And he struck him out, so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. You can't underestimate how important a start this is when your team's on a losing streak. He has been phenomenal. It's all thanks to him that they've got a good shot at ending this. Chase Darneau will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. First pitch coming. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. And, and even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. Here it comes. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0-2. Now the pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. The next 0-2. The next 0-2 two misses, two. and that'll move it to 1-2 now. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. Let's go, let's go. Now here it comes to two balls and two strikes now. And this is where he gets so tough. He's seen everything you've got, but you've still got to make one more good pitch to get him out. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw gets him, two down. And you just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. Make it nine in a row, he said. Ryan Howard will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time, it's ball one. Here's the 1-0. Looks at a sinker there that drops in one and one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. The 1-1 home. In for strike two. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here, and that's no small feat against this lineup. The right-hander deals on one and two. And Howard will wisely lay off that one as it's back to two and two now.
No runs, three hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Here we go. Sinker, three and two now. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They still trail 1-0. Mark Reynolds will stand in here to start the seventh. EK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. Seventh inning, Mark Reynolds leads off and he fouls it. No balls and one strike. Ball. One and one. Hamels pitched six great innings. Only he's thrown 69 pitches. It's one ball and two strikes. Hit on the ground of Franco. Easy out. One down here in the seventh. Now batting, shortstop, Johnny Peralta. We are live today on Twitch TV. Welcome those viewers. We're on Twitch. On Oakland TV One, and this one is hitting the Right center field, Ben Rivera shifts over and makes the play. So it's two outs here in the seventh inning. And they'll bring up Colton Wong. Wong has struck out twice. Hit foul. No balls and one strike. in the right field as a base hit. Come on, I'm in love here. Detroit beating the Yankees 4-2. to two. That'll be the Phillies' next opponent tomorrow. Game series against the New York Yankees. Down, open. Get me out here. Get me out here. No balls and two strikes. Struck him out. A quick inning for Hamels. Regardless if he gave up the hit, it's stretch time here at Citizens it's Bank Park. For the traditional seventh inning stretch. It's one nothing Cardinals. Adrian Belt right now. Cardinals will get bullpen after the main speed coach in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Wayne Wright has thrown 88 pitches. Outside for a ball. One ball and no strikes to Belt Still a base hit. The catcher number 13, Salvador. So they'll bring up Salvador Perez, Beltre, a leadoff base runner. And Matheny, he's going to go out and make a double switch. So that'll be it for Wayne Ray as he pitched seven, six innings. There will be a double switch. Bell say is into the game. Your attention, please. These changes for St. Louis. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot. Number 37. Perez. Yeah. The line. 
Now playing right field and batting in the ninth spot, number 22, Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward will play right field. I was sound because I was trying to get the call. Who was playing right field? It is Jason Hayward. There's no balls and one strike to Salvador Perez with Beltre on first. And nobody out. Now the counts 0-2. Seventh inning, one nothing Cardinals. They got their lone run all the way back in the first inning. Did he go? Yes, he did. Perez not happy. And here is Mikel Franco. Phillies have to get something going here. Beltre with a leadoff single. Got to get something going here in this inning. Long and no strikes. Not go there. Two and zero. Oh. Franco sends this one to left field. It is out of here. Oh, Michael Franco! And the Phillies take a two to one lead here in the seventh inning. I thought Burgess had it, but when he jumped up and waved his hand, and the fans started cheering, you knew it was gone. Mikel Franco comes up big with a two-run home run here in the bottom of the seventh. Right down the heart of the play of Franco is like a line shot. Boom. And Ray DeKeyote will come into the game now. Wayne Wright will get a no decision. That's Franco's fifth home run. They'll bring up Xavier Paul. A ball and no strikes. Paul is 0 for 2. He flew out and grounded out. Still has a chance to pick up a win. He pitched well, seven solid innings. Only giving up four hits in that one run. Xavier Paul will split the, no, he won't split the gap. Cut off nicely by the center fielder. Paul's at first with a single. Cole Hamels will stay in the game. Hamels try to bunt. It is a good bunt and barely getting Hamels. Paul moves up to second base. Two outs here in the seventh inning. Del Franco has hit a home run in all three games of the Cardinals series. What a day he has had, series he has had. Here we go. 
there in the center field. And that will retire the side. John Jay puts it away, but Mikel Franco, a two-run homer to give the Phillies the lead here in the bottom of the seventh. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for St. Louis, number seven, Matt Holliday. Matt Holliday, the pinch hitter. Handles only 77 pitches in this game. He throws inside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Pass Hamels, nice play by Utley, and he will get him! Oh, what a play by Utley. He stumbled for a minute, but made the great throw. One down here in the eighth. And you see the line score on both pitchers. Hamels with seven strikeouts. Wayne White with six strikeouts. Both give it up four hits and one earned run. Here's Jason Hayward. He's batting at 301. Nice defense by the Phillies in this one. One ball and no strike. One and one to count. Ooh. Take a look at the Hamels strikes. 61 strikes, 24 balls. It is willing and dealing here today. Two balls and two strikes. he go yes he did a strikeout Hamels has eight strikeouts now, John bring up John Jay Susan Fink Park in Philadelphia Phillies two runs six hits no errors Cardinals one run four hits no errors John Jay triple back in the first inning and he scored the lone Cardinals run and Jay fouls it. No balls and two strikes. Hopped up. Bell Trey won't get it. That's One ball and two strikes. Another foul making him a slow pitches here. Right. And it's 
hit the left field. So Jay is on. Two outs here and a base run. Nice at bat by Jay and Sandberg. Says that's enough. Cole Hamels will get a standing ovation. Eight strikeouts on five hits as he tips his cap out to the crowd here at Citizen Fan Park. And Brian Jobs will come in and one and two record of 6.49 ERA, 13 walks and 30 strikes. No strikes. Oh. Two and nothing. here in the eighth inning. Matt Carpenter on deck for the Cardinals. And he walks. Borjos walks. Jay at second, Borjos at first. There's Matt Cartman who is one for three. Hamill can win, he can't lose it. He's only responsible for the runner at second. And that run would just tie the ball game. One ball and no strike. Giles has not thrown a strike yet. Get the strike out, man. Right. And finally does is two and one. to Utley, it'll go over the first for the out, and that'll retire the Cardinals. No damage done, we'll go to the bottom of the eighth, two to one, Philly. Jordan Wander will come into the game to pitch for the Cardinals, 0-4 with a 5.16 ERA, 29 and two thirds inning, 37 strikeouts and 13 walks, and here's in 34 games, Johnny M. Melita will be the catcher now. Number four. Here's Chase Utley. Most of the Cardinal players had the day off. A couple of them had the day off. Second baseman, Chase Utley. But they've hung in there. And it's still a two to one game. Phillies gave a couple of their players a day off yesterday. Beltre had the day off. And Salvador Perez with the day off. One ball and one strike. Two balls and two strikes to Utley. And a foul, two and two. And 
Uh, you see Walden's foot sliding off of the mound. Just watch the foot right here. His right foot sliding off. Utley strikes out. Here's Chase DeArnold in the single. DeArnold takes single in the third. Hit foul. Come on, make something. Balls and two strikes. Jonathan Pettenbaum will come into the game here in the ninth. Two and nothing. Three and nothing to Howard. They'll pray. They turn back. Man, pick the poison right here. Strike the belt tray. Belt tray hits its foul. Balls and two strikes to Beltray. <laughs> Beltray strikes out, and the inning is over. We go to the ninth. Billy's trying to hang on and win their fifth straight. Your attention. Apple Bob will come into the game with a one and one record, 20 saves, a 4.75 DRA, 30 in the third, and 11 walks, and 18 strikeouts. He'll face Mark Reynolds. Two to one, that was the same score yesterday. Foul, one ball, no, one strike to Reynolds. Foul and two. Count. 
struck him out, one down here in the ninth. Pavel Bond, fifth in the league in staves. Behind Casilia, Broxton, Rosenthal, and Chapman. Here's Johnny Perosa, who is 0 for 3. One strike to Perosa. Fly ball, center field. Pretty well hit. Rivera going back, and he makes the cut. Keeping himself from running all, all against the wall. Nice catch by Ben Rivera. Two outs here in the ninth. That ball was carrying well. into the wall. And make that play. Two out. That is hit foul. Pulling along the batter. No balls in one strike. Two strikes. Now the fans anticipating a final strike here. One and two. One and two. Him out, ball game over. Bills win their fifth straight. They win it by the score of two to one. Mikel Franco coming up big in the bottom of the seventh, hitting a two-one home run to give the Phillies the two to one victory. Cole Hamels picks up the win. A superb performance by Cole Hamels. Adam Wainwright as well as also. They'll get a no decision. And the Phillies sweep the Cardinals. Cardinals came in 37 to 31. Now they're 37 to 34. Phillies pick up the win. They win it by the score of 2 to 1. So Amos 3 and 3 and Matt Belize with the lost field. Final score of Phillies 2 to Cardinals 1. We will talk to you next time on the Video Game Network.